Welcome back to Learn Arabic with Mana. Today's lesson is the beginning of a series about the parts of the body. Today we will start with the head and its different parts and we will see them in interesting and colorful expressions that we use in the Syrian dialect. So if you didn't subscribe yet and you are new here, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be notified about the new lessons. Yalla, let's start. Before I start with the lesson, I want to say big thank you to each and every one of you. Last week we reached 2,000 subscribers. Thank you a lot for your nice comments and when you are asking questions, it means a lot to me. And thanks for your likes and sharing and all your support. Thank you again. Now let's start with our lesson. Okay, the head is Ras, Ras. The face is Wish, Wish. In some regions in the Levantine dialect, they would say Wish with Sha at the end. In some re regions, they would say Wish with Ja at the end. Wish or Wish. They are the same. And after we have Hair, Sha'ar, Sha'ar. Forehead, Jbin. Jbin, we have eyebrow, one, hajib, hajib, two of them, hawajib, hawajib, even if they are two, and in the Arabic language we have dual, when we are counting two things we will use the dual, but when we are talking about the body parts we will use the plural, even if they are two, so it is hawajib, hawajib, after the eyelashes, one, rimish, rimish, all of them, rimush, rimush, one eye, ain, ain, all of them, ain, ayun, ayun, ain, ayun, after the cheek, one cheek, khad, khad, two of them, khdud, khdud, nose, anif, anif, one lip, Shiffe, shiffe. The two lips, shafayef, shafayef, and after the teeth, one, sin, sin, all of them, snan, snan. The ear, one, idin, idin, two of them, adan, adan. And last we have the chin, da'an, da'an. So if you want to say my hair, you would say shari, shari by attaching the suffix e at the end. We are forming my, the possessive pronoun, and soon we will learn all of them in the near future. And if you want to say like your face, you will say wishak, wishak, or you will say wishak if you are talking to a man, wishak, wishak. Or if you are talking to a woman, you will say wishek or wishek. You will use the thing, the one that you feel more comfortable to say. If you want to say, for example, my eyes, ayuni, ayuni, so you will just attach the possessive pronouns to the end of the word. Now let's see the expressions and let's start with the head. Raso yabes, masculine. Ras ha yabes feminine. What does it mean? It means if someone is so stubborn and he or she, they does only what they want to do. They don't listen to anyone and just they do what they think that it is correct. Raso yabes. If you are describing a man, ras ha yabes. If you are describing a woman. Raso, it is his head. By attaching the suffix o, u at the end, we are forming his. Raso. Yabes, it is rock hard. Raso, yabes. If you are talking about a woman, ras ha, by attaching the ha at the begin, at the end, we are forming hair. Ras ha, hair, head. Yabes, rock hard. Raso, yabes, about a man. Ras hayab is about a woman. Now let's see the expression about the face. So if you did something and you really felt embarrassed, you might blush and your face will turn red. 
in Arabic you will say Hmar wishi. Hmar wishi. And afterwards, if you are telling one of your friends about what happened, you could say, Oh my God, I was so embarrassed that I turned red. In Arabic you will say Hmar wishi. Hmar, it means turned red. Wishy my face. Hmar wishy. Now our expression about the eye. One eye and this expression we will use it with someone that they are so precious to us and we want to show them that we will give anything to make them happy. So usually we use it with a partner, husband, wife or with our kids. And the expression is Aini ilak. If you are talking to a man, Aini ilak. If you are talking to a woman, Aini it is my eye, ilak it's for you, masculine, ilak it is for you, feminine. In the Middle East, usually the parents will use this with their kids to show them that they are ready to give them anything to make them happy in this life. Aini ilak, masculine. Aini ilek feminine. Our expression now is about both the eyebrow and the eye, and it is العين مبتعلة على الحاجب. العين the eye مبتعلة على doesn't arise above الحاجب the eyebrow. So the eye can't go above the eyebrow. When we use this expression. We use it in a social situation when, for example, inside the family with the parents, the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles. Like, for example, you are in a big family uh, gathering and let's say that one of your aunts, she stood up to give you her chair and you will say her, the eye doesn't go above the eyebrow so you are telling her that she has the priority to sit and be comfortable above you now it's the ear and your expression is fun and colorful because it says one ear from clay and the other e is from dough in Arabic Idin mantin u idin minajin. Idin it is an ear. Mintin from clay u it is and idin another uh, ear. Minajin from do. Idin mantin u idin minajin. We use this expression in different situation. In one of the situation, if we don't care. Or we don't want to listen to someone who's talking. So, for example, someone is nagging and nagging and afterwards you are describing the situation to one of your friends and you would say, oh my God, he was nagging and nagging, but I wouldn't care less. I closed my ears and I had idin mantin u idin minajin. I didn't hear anything he said. Or you could use it in a situation when you keep advising someone and giving them instructions to do things in a better way but they never listened and they do the thing again and again wrong and you would say he always have idin mantin u idin minajin he didn't listen or understand anything i said idin mantin u idin minajin here's another expression using the tongue and we use this expression to describe a person that he speaks rudely to everyone or he curses all the time and we will say lsano tawil if you are talking about a man lsanha tawil if you are talking about a woman lsano his tongue tawil is long lsanha her tongue tawil is long I know the image doesn't give the exact meaning, but we use it to describe people that their tongue is not under control. They speak rudely or they curse all the time. Sano tawil to a man, sanha tawil to a woman. Now our expression is about the teeth, and we will use one tooth, sin, and it is sinno dahab. His tooth is gold. If you are talking about a man. Sinha dahab, her tooth is gold. If you are talking about a woman, sinno his tooth. 
Dahab is gold. Sinha, hair, tooth. Dahab is gold. We use this expression if we are talking about a person that they are wealthy. It doesn't have to be really wealthy, but they are in a good situation financially. Sinno Dahab, Sinha Dahab. These are some expressions using parts of the head in to describe people and life. Leave me a comment telling me which one do you like more and which one are you going to use. And tell me if you have any similar expressions in your language I'm interested to know. Now let's go over our words for today. Head, Ras, Face, Wish, Wish. Hair, Shar, Forehead, Jbin, Eyebrow, Hajib, Eyebrows, Hawajib, Eyelash, Ramish, Eyelashes, Ramush, Eye, Ain, Eyes, Ayun, Chick, Khad, Chicks, Khdud, Nose, Anif, Lib, Shif, Lips Shafaif Tooth Sin Teeth Snan Ear Eden Ears Adan Chin Dan His head is rock hard Raso Yabes Her head is rock hard Rasha Yabes My face turned red Hmar wishi. My eye is for you. Aini ilak. Masculine. Aini ilak. Feminine. The eye doesn't rise above the eyebrow. Lain mabdala al hajib. One ear of clay and one ear of dough. Idin mantin. U idin minajin. His tongue is long, lsano tawil. Her tongue is long, lsanha tawil. His tooth is gold, sinno dahab. Her tooth is gold, sinha dahab. Hope you liked today's video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you are not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be notified about the future lessons. See you next week. Yalla bye!